it's Halloween Town on our 31 spooky movies of Halloween. I was born a little too late to have this movie be lodged in my nostalgia hole. As a matter of fact, this was the first time I've ever watched it because honestly, I just wanted to know what all the fuss was about and why so many young people look back at this movie so fondly. And after seeing it, my only conclusion is that they're just dumb. Disney's Halloween Town introduces us to Marnie Piper, a rebellious 13-year-old who discovers she's a witch and that she and her siblings secretly belong to an alternate world where every day is Halloween and all the citizens are quirky supernatural beings. <sighs> really, Disney? The kids follow their grandmother, Aggie, played by the legendary Debbie Reynolds, into this magical town where they learn about their heritage. The kids also stumble upon a vague and barely threatening evil force that wants to turn the residents of Halloween Town evil to fight back against the humans who drove them from the Earth for, uh, I don't know, some reason. Listen, if you are an all-powerful witch, or a mighty werewolf, or a blood-sucking vampire, and mere humans are able to drive you away? The humans deserve your planet because you are weak and you will not survive the winter. Halloween Town is hailed as a Halloween classic, but that's really just a nice way of saying that this movie is so bad, it's like a rite of passage to watch it, kind of like a Klingon getting stabbed with pain sticks. Now, you would think that a movie about a magical world full of witches, ghosts, and goblins should be filled with wonder, and to be fair, it is. If we're talking about A Nightmare Before Christmas, but we're talking about Halloween Town, which gives us a world that feels more like a spirit Halloween store's clearance aisle on November 10th. Everything about this movie screams cheap. From the costumes that look like they were made from about $5 worth of felt and then hot glued onto a bodysuit, to the special effects that even the 90s would be embarrassed to call their own. The story itself? Well, let's just say it's not breaking any new ground in the fantasy genre. The plot is paper thin, and I mean like tissue paper thin, with scary villains whose evil master plan is turning people into statues or something, I guess, I don't know. But then again, what else were they supposed to do? Obviously, they couldn't afford Debbie Reynolds for the entire shoot, so freezing her at one point was like putting her in Tupperware for later. And while we're on that subject, let's talk about the one shining gem in this Halloween mud puddle. And that's Debbie Reynolds as Aggie. How Disney roped her into this, we will never know, but she's easily the best part of this whole movie. Reynolds brings charm, humor, and heart, making you almost, almost, forget that you're watching the cinematic equivalent of a Halloween office party with a $50 budget. She delivers every line with an energy and warmth that is totally out of place in this movie that feels like it was made by interns. Halloween Town did not deserve this legend. In the end, Halloween Town is just too basic, too simplistic, and honestly, too dumb. Why this movie is so well loved is a mystery only the Crypt Keeper could solve. But if you are looking for nostalgia and you are from what I am now calling the stupid Disney generation, go ahead. Make Halloween Town part of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Because I'm not doing it. <laughs>